The only real blowout, I guess, score-wise, was the Niners in the Seahawks, and that only happened late in the game. That defense is still fantastic for the Niners, and Brock Purdy's a guy. AJ, why are people telling me and everybody else on the internet that Brock Purdy ain't shit? This guy is a rookie, balling, 158-something quarterback rating uh -huh. in his first playoff game. I love his – he's a system quarterback, AJ. I love – every quarterback's a system quarterback. I love this guy, AJ. I mean, the guy makes – you can't really call him a system quarterback when he, he buys time. He does whatever he can in the pocket, the pocket to make plays. But also credit to Brock. If you saw early in that game, like he wasn't – he didn't come out on fire. Like he came out missed a few throws. looked like they were oh, kind of hesitant. stumbling out of the gates. I believe they got a field goal on the, their first one. And even the announcers mentioned like, hey, this is, this is the first we're seeing a little, a little bit of uh, just a little missed timing, whatever's going on. And then Brock still doesn't throw a pick, figures it out. They blow him out. Like, this is what he does. I would love to hear what Kyle Shanahan said to him because he did have a little bit of the jitters mm. early, mm. hitting guys over the – I mean, he's a player. Oh, yeah. I don't understand why people would say he's a system quarterback because then those same people probably say that a quarterback that runs too much can't win a Super Bowl because they won't be able to stay healthy. It's like everybody can find a negative in everything, I guess. I don't know why Brock Purdy's the guy that people are looking for negatives, though. This dude was Mr. Irrelevant. Nobody fucking wanted him. This, nobody wanted this guy. Yeah. Every team passed over this guy multiple, 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 multiple times. Mm -hmm. He was the last pick of the draft. Now, I understand that there's been undrafted free agents that have gone on to have great success. Fucking Kurt Warner, mm -hmm. certainly number 13, who played college ball in Iowa just like this guy, went on to have success. But this is not normal, what we're seeing right here. No. This is a guy that we all should be rooting for. So when he's balling, swagging, and doing his thing, we should all be happy about it. But people aren't for some reason. I, it doesn't make any sense to me, AJ. It honestly does and Debo being back what a game changer for the San Francisco 49ers who have made moves and continue to be aggressive awesome uh, blocking downfield by Ayuk on that play too Debo so fast but yeah just this play design everything about it Brock Purdy I guess because oh, I he technically shouldn't be able to step in there and win all these games especially when playoff games and look like he has so much poise people just assume hey when does the other shoe drop or whatever the dumb term is or saying is to where he becomes who they thought he was. So you think this is everybody wanting to be right later? Kind of, yeah. We're just assuming, hey, this guy's he's got a little lucky run going. Everyone has their own 15 minutes of fame or 15 minutes of glory, and they think he's going to fall off. But, I mean, why? Why do we have to assume that? I don't. The amount of people that were tweeting me, because he looks like a child, bro. I put that one tweet out. I said, this <laughs> child is an absolute dog. Mm -hmm. He looks like a 13-year-old. He has roommates. He has roommates yeah. in San Francisco. Two I don't think he has two roommates mm -hmm. in San Francisco. This dude is an absolute fuck. This one here. Ah, oh, yeah. How we just showed it. Yep. Going through the adversity of not hitting everything, getting dropped into that lineup as a third stringer, being a fucking Mr. Irrelevant. Think you're maybe going to have to go sell insurance to where? I mean, it's just like this dude is in real time an incredible underdog story happening. And there's a bunch of people that are tweeting me telling me he sucks. It's like, I don't Why? think so. Wait, really? <laughs> well, they, they can't say he sucks, or they just yes. say, yeah. There's he's people saying he's this. trash, bro. Okay, I don't understand. I don't understand. Anyone can do that. I haters thinking. Legit, yeah. it, it is like in you making the point that they're. Look at this, 136 and a half passer rating. Are we are we joking? Look at his yak, 175 yard yak. It's like, okay, is that his? So is that okay. his fault? Well, Doesn't ball, matter. Ball placement probably went into that whole thing. Oh, he hands the ball off all the time. They go, is that his fault? I mean, I don't know what you want us to. He's not throwing picks. I mean, he's not. Nope. He's not putting the ball in, in terrible. Like, he's not putting him in terrible situations. The good thing too, if Brock does stumble a little bit in one of these playoffs games, which we assume, he has a team around him. He has a team around him that they can rally the troops and find a way to get a win. Yeah, Tom Brady won a lot of Super Bowls because there was incredible plays made by the defense. Bingo. The, the pick yeah. by the Seattle Seahawks is going to happen. And I guess Tom has been, you know, hated on for a long time. There's another guy, pick 199, comes in. Exactly. has to like, the, like, that's a guy you should like, I think. But I guess people just don't because they think they should be Brock Purdy. Yeah. I, I don't understand it. I don't get it. But his point, AJ's point of, like, they're waiting for the other shoot. They want to be right later. They mm -hmm. want to be like, I told you. Is that what it is, you think? I think so. I think people just love poking holes in it, especially if you're a team. Isn't this a feel-good story? Exactly. It's a great story. Should hey, be. anybody can you know do this. This is Mr. Irrelevant possibly going on to even just go to the Super Bowl. But to your guys' point about you know when he does stumble, their defense is so good. And I know they gave up 23 points to the Seahawks, and there was that you know bonehead play at the end of the first half that got mm -hmm. Seattle into field goal range or, or whatever. Yeah. But they're 
absurd. Like it's hard to see where a team is going to be able to score with the Niners because the Niners really can put up 30 points a game, and it feels like that's easy for them. And it doesn't feel like anybody's going to be able to score 30 points on this defense. Uh, it, it feels like they're definitely not going to be able to run on them. Like if they're going to be able to do it, it's through the air. Kind of Seahawks did a, a little bit, but there's the NFC is not. That's not who the NFC is. Like with the Eagles and Cowboys and all those other teams, like. They're all based off the run, which is the, what the Niners shut down. Like so, Super Bowl is when we, yeah, yeah. It, it, legit, Bills, Bengals, Bengals, Bills, Chiefs. Chiefs. Yeah.